What's we'll you back in another video? This, this is this is huge, bro. This is a huge video. So I just woke up. I literally just woke up, and I was like, "Let's hop on Call of Duty" because they added. Um, you guys can see here they added shipment into the game. Shipment is right there. You see, boy? It's so great, it's so beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. And so like I was like, I'm gonna hop on, play some shipment, man. I'm gonna grind out because all I need right now is pistols, my knives the launcher and shotguns and then i have everything platinum and i can work on the last camel before um, interstellar and then stuff leaked today some this video i'll also post the entire season one um roadmap We're getting a shit ton of weapons. I think like five weapons or something. So it's a huge amount of weapons, which is great. Um, by the way, if I sound kind of weird, it's because I have an ulcer right now in the right side of my mouth. So it kind of like, it's making me talk kind of funny. So if I do sound weird, that's why. But that's not the biggest thing. They have talked about SBML. We fucking won, baby. We won. All right. We're finally... Finally putting some fucking some pressure on them. All right But There's a catch they didn't necessarily talk about it the way we wanted to they said and I quote We know there's a lot of interest In the matchmaking experience especially around how skill ways how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together Nothing is more important to us than the experience players have with the game. The matchmaking is a big part of it. We've been working on, on our matchmaking system for over well over 10 years. Which would make sense. Because we would see uh, SPMM really start to kick up around Black Ops 4. So that makes sense. And we continue to spend a ton of time and energy on improving the matchmaking process. This involves people working at our Call of Duty studios, our back-end service teams at Demonware, and other groups like our Player Insights teams. And in, it's a large effort that we've worked on for many years, and our approach combines latency, search time, skill, along with many other factors. Which I have said before, and many other people have said before, that's how they, they determine. They determine by literally every finite detail. Your KD, your skill, um, your matchmaking, your, your time play, all that stuff. Everything is combined. Um, do try to find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard, and we haven't spent the time to pull together all of our work to share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're working toward doing that in the coming weeks after Season 1 launches, and we'll also make it part of our ongoing discussions with the community. Bro, it is so good to hear them acknowledge that, that, that they're are doing stuff behind the scenes to influence our matchmaking. Do I agree with that or not? No. I don't agree that you should be influencing my matchmaking. I think that if I'm better than people, I should be better than people. I don't think that I should be forced to sweat my life away and going against cheaters and stuff because I'm good at the game. I don't believe that. And I don't believe someone who's bad at the game should only go against people that are bad at the game because you can only get better um, when you're on your when you're bad, like if you're not getting sixty something kills a game, you can only get better by playing people that are good, right? Um, and that helps you as a player get better. I did that when I was younger. When I was younger, I did lots of one v ones, custom games with really good players, and that's how I learned to get good, right? But I can still go online and still have fun, right? That's the difference. I can still choose to have fun if I wanted to. And and so yes, they they're not they didn't talk about it the way we wanted to, but it is so good to feel like my anger has not been misplaced, right? That it feels really good to hear them say yes that we are using we are using systems in the background to to find certain lobbies, and that yes we are working to better that system to make it less annoying. That's good to hear. Because it means that we're we're being heard, right? And this is what I keep saying day, year after year is that yes. Do I complain a lot about the game? Yes. Do I bitch and moan a lot? Yes. But it is for good reason. Because eventually they will hear us. Okay? Eventually we will be heard. 
And when we are heard, there is nothing better for the COD community than when the people that have the most complaints that understand the game's core mechanics get. We're not, we're different from like the the guy who just plays for an hour every week, right? And bitches about some gun being overpowered. Like we're playing every day, fourteen hours a day. We understand what's wrong with the game and what's not, and it's really it's important for us to speak out about those things because we're not YouTubers, right? We're not we don't have the power influence to talk to developers one on one. All we can do is go on social media, make videos, make posts, and explain our situation, explain how our feelings are, and eventually they'll hear them. Just like SBM man, us as a community have came together and we have really been nailing home this SBM as a problem over the last year and a half. And I fucking love that man. It's it it sucks that it's here, but I love it that it's bringing us all together and helping us all appreciate each other's um, opinions because we're all agreeing that hey, yeah, this is a problem and it needs to go. So, that's hype, man. I'm so happy that they acknowledge that. I know it isn't the best acknowledgement. I know it's kind of like a, ha-ha, we talked about it, now shut the fuck up. You know, we don't want to talk about it no more. But um, I, don't, I don't feel like there's anything going back from this, right? I think that they will continue to talk about it because Sledgehammer Games has always been really good about that and always really good about communication. Um, and this was by Sledgehammer, from what I remember, from what I know. I'm reading this from a third-party source, as I don't actually see the, the original post. Don't have as much there, um, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, uh, from a Sledgehammer. It might be from Infinity Ward, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Sledgehammer because they talk about season one. So, um, with that being said, man, I'm gonna end the video here because I sound like shit this morning. So, uh, I'll be live streaming tonight, playing shipment. We're gonna get all the guns plat tonight, hopefully, um, and yeah. I'm so happy Shipman's back, bro. I missed you, Shipman. No more, no more rust, bro.